Hi there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up workspaces in Napoleon Cat. We used to call this feature projects, but one is something more team friendly. It's super useful for organizing your social media workflow into different projects and collaborating in teams. With Napoleon Cat, you can create separate workspaces for different social media accounts. For example, when you manage social media profiles for different clients. Assign team members to specific workspaces and define their permissions. So for example, a team member can only publish posts but cannot reply to comments or messages. Create individual sets of content and user tags. Create separate workspaces to analyze your competitors on social media. Let me show you how to create an efficient social media workflow using Napoleon Cat. So, I'm all signed in and I've connected my social media profiles as well as some of my competitors accounts for analytics. All of that happened inside one workspace. By default, it's called my workspace. I can quickly change its name in workspace settings. Now let's say that I've just scored another client and my job is to manage their social media. In order to better organize my work, I can set up a new clean workspace. I click here and then new workspace. Since my new client specializes in yoga courses, I name my workspace accordingly and I start connecting the social profiles. I'm gonna connect one Facebook page for now. Next, let's say that I'm gonna be working in this particular workspace with someone. It can be my assistant, my team member, or my client. Either way, they're gonna need editing or at least viewing permissions. One thing about safety here, I don't grant users direct access to the social media accounts. I don't give them any passwords. Instead, I add users to specific workspaces and define their permissions inside different features of the Napoleon Cat tool, like the publisher or the analytics. You can pause the video now to read more about user types and permissions. Anyhow, here's how to add new users. I need to invite them to join the whole company account. I do that from the team menu in the top right corner. I name my team and then I click on invite user. From this level, I can invite other users via email. Remember to click on enter once you type in the email address. I can assign users to different teams, define their permissions, and assign them to workspaces. They will receive an email that will take them to a site where all they need to do is set their own password and log into Napoleon Cat. Coming back to the workspace, I can already see the new team member. I can change this user's permissions here. For example, if this was my client, I could grant them viewing access only, for instance for the analytics feature. Next thing, alerts. Here I can set automatic email and SMS notifications regarding everything that happens on a given social media profile. For a Facebook page, I can differentiate between posts, comments, posts or comments, page posts, and keywords that I define. Next, I can add UTM tags with the links I post using the publisher feature. Then I have labels that will help me better categorize my content, my fans, and the interactions with my fans, like comments and messages. The important thing here, you can come up with your own labels. These ones are just a default sample. Last but not least, I can set up saved replies that cut down on time spent answering repetitive questions, handling standardized procedures with customers, or simply maintaining my brand voice. I can also completely automate my responses, but that's our auto moderation feature and we have separate videos on that. Looking for a social media management tool for you and your team? Start our free 14-day trial. No credit card required. And if you have any questions, just contact us through our website and we'll be more than happy to help you guys. Until next time, bye bye.